Your girl got a sponsorship. Y'all know I'm super excited about this because I don't know about y'all, but I've been seeing Caraway all over Instagram. And I'm like, dang, I need to give me some of them pots to eat. Your girl got her some of them pots. I'm super excited, especially about the colorway that I chose. Y'all know that Caraway has so many different options for you to choose from. I ain't even gone home, y'all. Let's go ahead and unbox. All right, y'all, I had to go get my box cutter. You know it's official if I get the box cutter because I use some keys, some knives. And I was like, you know what, we're gonna treat them right, so. And box this bad boy, why is it? Come on now, let me in. Let me in, coach. All right. Oh, care away. Care away. Look at that. You're one step closer to cleaner cooking. Okay, so we're gonna start unboxing these. So for any of you who don't know, Caraway has 100% non-toxic ceramic cookware. So not only an investment in your kitchen, sis, but also your health. And like I said, they have so many different beautiful colors to choose from to complement anybody's home. So if you think about the girls who like the neutral colors, they got gray, they got cream. I ain't gonna lie, they cream hit. But I really wanted to go with something that would allow me to bring like a pop of color into my um, house. So I chose the sage color. They also have a very beautiful, it's almost like a pink. I wanna say it's called, don't give me the line. I'll put it up on the screen. And then they have a yellow. So my girls who, you know, you're really into like those vibrant colors, the yellow, that's what it is. And like I said, navy, I think there's like five or six different colors, but I'm gonna leave all the information down below. You can go check it out for yourself. So the first thing we have here are the lid holders. So they come on a nice lid organizer thing. And there's an organizer also for the pots and pans, no additional cost. So they, they set you up. You know, a lot of times you get these pots and pans, you're like, damn, where am I gonna put them? You know, <laughs> they got you. So let me get y'all a little close up. Let's get into it. I know y'all like, girl, stop talking. Show us the goodies. But look at that color, y'all. I am so excited about this colorway. It also says Caraway on the inside. So we have one size for all. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. Baby, it's Christmas in March. Yes. Put it here. Guess what, Caraway? Already made room. I threw out all of my old pots and pan sets that I had because I knew these. I knew we had some heat coming, okay? I know my husband is about to be in heaven when he sees these. And he's cooking steak tonight, so I'm gonna have him use the new pots and pans whenever he cooks. So, not only are y'all gonna get an unboxing, I'm gonna show y'all the good stuff, give y'all a little bit of information about the pan, but y'all gonna see us use them. You say they're not stick, but we care away, care away. We're putting these in the test today, okay? And look at this packaging, y'all. Bring y'all in a minute. Hold on. Let y'all see this. Okay. I got y'all adjusted. So, this is how it looks when it comes in. And it actually tells you which each one, what each one is. So, this is your saute pan. We have a fry pan, Dutch oven, and then a sauce pan. Perfect. Okay, y'all, so I went ahead and took everything out of the box and set it up here, but it comes with not only the organizer for the lids, but also for your pot and pan set. Y'all know I love my stuff to be organized, whether or not my husband and my kids put it where it's supposed to go. That's another story. Look at this. Somebody look at this. Boom. Boom. Look at this. I present to you. Caraway. And then there's also this little box that was included in one of the pots. So y'all, you see, whenever you order this, you get a bundle. It's not just pots, it's not just pots with lids, it's pots with lids, storage organization, and then little pot protected warmer thingies. So, you go and say, dinner's ready. <laughs> And then also included y'all as a little booklet. It tells you how to care for your pots and pans, how to store them, 
how to clean them, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you read this before you start using your pot and pan set because you don't want to mess it up. This is actually, like I said, an investment. So take care of your stuff. Anyways, I am about to get these clean so my husband can use them whenever he cooks tonight. And then I'm planning on making um, a breakfast in the morning. So y'all will get to see us use these twice in this video. But like I said, I'll leave everything down below. If you use my link, you will get 10% off of your order. Hello, instant savings. Everybody likes to save their coins. So um, yeah, I'm really excited. Like, thank you so much to Caraway for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I really appreciate y'all sending these to me. Let's get to it. When you buy these, y'all, speaking into existence, <laughs> when you buy these, make sure you pay attention to all of the cardboard that comes in the packaging because the little hook things come with it and you might miss it. I actually seen these when I opened it, but I just thought it was something to keep the box together. So make sure, this, I got it wet, but it literally says lid holder hooks. Don't forget your hooks to hang up your lids. Reading is, fundament Reading is fundamental. Shut up, Jay. <laughs> Y'all heard him, he said pronunciation is too. I'm sick of these folks in this house. All right, so I just finished washing the pots and pans. I'm about to dry them and put them up. Okay, also here is what it looks like. For me, my cabinets are not tall enough to hang this on here. So the whole organizer thing fits, but I'm not able to close my cabinet door. So I just used, where are they? Hold on y'all. Where is the things I use? Oh, here it is. One second. I use these command strip things. I actually got these from Target yesterday or the day before um, to hang some pictures in the kids' bathroom. So I use these. I basically just put it on the back because the back of this is like, a, it's not the same material on the back. So you're able to stick something on it. So it's little Velcro things right here and down here so that it stays so when we pull these out up out of here this whole thing doesn't fall over and then this is what the organizer thing looks like so i just put them in order of size the biggest one in the back then the other two and then the small one so cute it's not a game. It's a red morning y'all so um i bought some groceries last night so i'm about to show y'all those really quickly but i forgot to come on here and tell y'all um how the pots and pans set up so y'all kind of seen the overview of my husband cooking last night um so the only one he used was the dutch pot is it dutch oven dutch pot? i don't know y'all the biggest one that you boil stuff in worked pretty good the cleanup was really good so this morning i'm about to make some eggs and i told y'all this is the test right there do they stick Anyways, I'm about to show y'all the groceries really quick. So, this is the sourdough bread that I be using. Hold on, it's not focused. This is the sourdough bread that I use when I make my avocado toast. And I'm going to use it today. It's just like toast on the side. This is really good. If you like sourdough. Got some strawberry applesauce for the kids. Y'all, this is the only syrup I use now in Log Cabin. This is the syrup that my daddy used the last time he came to my house to cook breakfast. And I've been using it ever since. And he would heat it up in the microwave. Don't heat it in the bottle. It'll melt. Tried it. So, I'm telling you from experience, but heat your syrup before you use it. It's so good. Um, some fruit cups. More seasonings. This is larger than I thought it was going to be. Um, 
We're gonna make some flatbread pizzas again this week. Those pizzas, y'all. Let me show y'all really quickly. The um why are your shoes in here? The bread that I use. So it's these stone fire to make flatbread pizzas super quick. I think it takes less than 15 minutes for these to cook in the oven. So we're gonna do those at some point this week. And then um, also got pepperonis. My husband already put that up. Dang, I forgot to get ground turkey because we're making spaghetti this week too. Anyways, um, more Pop-Tarts. I don't like the actual Pop-Tart brand. I always like the off-brand, especially Kroger's. Um, some chips, goldfish. I told her to freaking refund these, bruh. Anyways, um, <clears throat> cause Maddie doesn't eat these and she definitely doesn't eat baked. She normally does the cheddar blast. The sauces for the spaghetti, more taco seasoning in case we decide to do tacos this week. I asked for two of these. Where's the other one? <sighs> I didn't check this last night. My husband brought it in. Um, this is for tacos, some more pasta, um, cereal bars, cereal bars, Ritz crackers. I actually got these from my Target order, but I decided I accidentally got wheat. And then, why did she bring me grape? I said refund. Like, okay, she's not gonna. Okay, there's two of these. I apologize for that. So, there's two um, noodles. We were just out of these. We're not planning on using these this week at all. But that's literally everything I got. It was just a mini order that I need to do. And then I also got um, waters, which. Where are my waters? Were they, were they refunded? Okay, well. Oh no, there they are. <laughs> so I got two waters. Um what do I have? girl. Hold on. So I'm confused because unless my husband brought some. Babe! Did you buy Doritos when you went to the store? Did you buy Doritos when you went to the store? No. Okay, I don't understand what, what she did then. Cause I had I had put this one back. So the crazy thing at Publix is like, the regular size will be regular price. Like these are $5.31. But then it had a sale on the party size, which was like $4.75. So I thought I removed these from my cart. I don't know, I guess I did. But I didn't ask for great Kool-Aid jammers because my kids don't drink great. So whatever, I'll drink them. Anyway, y'all, I'm about to make some breakfast real quick. quick. You wanna say hey, baby? Wanna say hey? Say hey. Tell them, show them Zizi. Sorry, baby. She needs to me. Anyways, let's cook. twist last night because I washed my hair so we back to the natural thing but I'm up it's eight o'clock on a Saturday morning I'm super proud of myself because normally I be trying to sleep in especially if being sleeps in you already know how that work but I'm up I'm about to um make myself some tea because we got shit to do this morning I had a talk with my good sis and she was like it's grind mode and I said you know what say less 
So I'm up. I'm about to do some stuff um, for my YouTube, for my Instagram. I think I was telling y'all on my last vlog that, well, I was starting to tell y'all that I needed to do better about my schedule. If I'm not doing my nine to five job, if I'm not tending to my kids, if I'm not trying to do something for myself, I'm doing YouTube. And I feel like I am constantly picking up my camera every single day. I was really starting to get in the mode of like, damn, like I am starting to feel like I'm just doing too much. So I was gonna go back to only uploading once a week. And my good sis was like, no, keep pushing. You need to still do your two days a week. And it's not that I didn't want to do it. I just feel like I didn't have the energy to do it. So I was like, you know what? I need to get back to planning out my content again and not just going with the flow. I need to utilize my time on the weekends. And I guess that was one of my other things is that I wanted to chill on the weekends because I was already on go all throughout the week. And I just wanted to, you know, let the Lord wake me. Not me wake myself or no alarm clock. You know what I'm saying? I just want to naturally wake up. And if that's at nine o'clock, if that's at 10 o'clock, so damn be it. But I realized I can't do that. I need to get my ass up and make use of my time. So that is what I'm doing today. But for those of you who don't know, I started my channel back in April 2020 and it was during the pandemic and my channel was strictly fashion. And I say strictly fashion, not because that's what I wanted it to be, but that's the only content I was uploading at the time. And my fashion related videos did not get a lot of traction like that simply because fashion is something that I feel like it's hard to get picked up in the algorithm with fashion related videos. That's what I mean. So sometimes you find yourself having to do what is trending versus what is just authentically something that you would naturally share. So regardless of whether or not I was getting views, I was still pushing out my videos. I was doing lookbooks, I was doing try on hauls, I was doing styling tip videos. Um, but those fashion videos, when you're doing that, is so draining because imagine yourself changing five to 10 times in that short amount of time and then walking and trying to show it and then talking about it and you having to do your makeup every single time you film. Those were exhausting. So I did those videos up until, when did I start? Okay, July of 2020 um, or August of 2020. So whenever we decided to purchase the house, I started documenting this process. So naturally, I started shifting more into home decor. I always wanted to do home decor on my channel. I just didn't expect it to be that early because we weren't necessarily looking to purchase the house when we purchased it. We were just seeing what was out there. I mean, y'all know it was a pandemic, we were bored, so we kind of just started looking around for houses. But y'all know we moved, so the house content started. And then, not only that, I got pregnant. My intent was to still do fashion content, and I was excited because I was like, okay, now I can just show things like style and a bump and stuff. But y'all know how it is. When you get pregnant, you lose energy, you don't feel as well. I literally just wore sweats my entire pregnancy. I was not doing any fashion content. The home content, the vlogging came a lot easier because it didn't require me to get dressed up. It didn't require me to find clothes that fit me. I was able to just pick up the camera and just go. For me, I just want to share my life. Um, so lifestyle, home decor, and fashion. And to me, it makes sense for the two to co-mingle. Even with my TikTok, I have not been posting over there. But ultimately, my goal is for all of my platforms to pretty much be in sync. If you're not a YouTube person, you can still catch that same content over on Instagram. If you're not Instagram or YouTube, you can catch it on TikTok. That's how I want it to ultimately flow. But so in a nutshell, my goal is to have all of them be the same. So anyways, let me reel this in. So my point in even telling y'all about that is I be downplaying myself. I think I said to y'all in one of my vlogs, I was like, I don't even consider myself an influencer. I'm just gonna go with content creator. And I recognize that I said that and I feel that way because I am projecting how I think other people see me or what other people think about me onto myself. So having other people look at me and be like, she is not no influencer. Look at her trying to be an influencer. She is not no content creator. Look at her trying, girl, shut up. I need to put positive energy out into the atmosphere because you have what you say. And I think I downplay myself because I am preparing for how some people may see me. And I can't be focused on that. 
I need to be focused on me and what my goals are and what I want for myself. But it's gonna require me sitting down and planning shit out and saying, this is what it is and doing what I have to do to meet my goals. Because at my nine to five, I would miss a deadline. If my manager says they need something delivered by this time, I will do whatever I have to do, even if that means working late, working on the weekend, to make that happen. So why am I why am I playing myself with my own personal goal? I need to do better. If you're out there and you're somebody who has goals for yourself, stop stop playing yourself, believe in yourself, regardless of what somebody else thinks of you, what people have to say, because it's gonna be some negative Nancy's out there. It's gonna be people out there who don't take you seriously. But you can't focus on those people. You have to focus on the positive people within your community, the positive people who root for you, who support you, regardless of whether or not you know them. Those are the people that you have to focus on because there is somebody out there, even if it's one person, there's somebody out there who is inspired by the things that you do, it's somebody out there who needs for you to keep doing what you're doing because that is their only hope. You don't know who that person is. You don't know how you're touching other people's lives and anyways, I said a mouthful. I don't even know how much of this is actually going to make it to the vault. But I don't know, this morning when I woke up, my mind was just racing, just about all the things that I wanna do, what I wanna get accomplished, how I just want to like be better and do better when it comes to like meeting my goals, when it comes to taking myself seriously. Here's my thing. Everybody's inspired by somebody. If somebody tells you differently that I'm not, nobody inspires me. They're lying, they're full of themselves, and they're full of shit. Somebody inspires you. Whether it's your husband, whether it's your mother, whether it's your late grandmother, whether it's a fashion icon, whether it is somebody who's um, an interior designer, there's somebody who inspires you. And just because you're inspired by that person it does not mean that you have to copy that person. It does not mean that you are copying that person because the goal is never to be somebody else. It is to, you know, be motivated by that person to go and achieve the goals that you have set for yourself. But I'm gonna get off my soapbox because I've spent 20 minutes over here talking to y'all and I need to go put on some clothes. Cause I'm gonna go to the, um, this little shopping center um, down the street from my house. I'm about to take myself some pictures. I'm about to film some reels. So get ready for the contents. I literally have an empty glass of water. I was gonna walk off with it. <clears throat> but I'm about to show y'all my mat real quick. And then we're gonna close off the vlog. This is the end of the vlog. Look, I haven't drunk coffee in so long. I don't even know how my body would react. And I don't mind when I bought some iced coffee and put it in my refrigerator. Like, what is the difference between the caffeine and coffee and the caffeine and tea? To me, it feels like the caffeine and tea it's like calming and the caffeine and coffee is like crack. Am I wrong? I look like somebody mom went in this dog on the road. Oh, while well, I have you. So I'm showing you this on Wednesday's vlog, the clean with me, because that's, I showed this in that one. But homegirl, the tea is good and you'll get my reaction on Wednesday's video. It is good. However, when I actually started to sip it, it was a little sweet for me. I ain't gonna lie. And it didn't dawn on me, y'all. Ever since I have had the Theraflu, you know, it has lemon in it. I don't like warm lemon. And this, I think about um, Theraflu every time I take a sip. This is good, though. I'm, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. It's caffeine-free. So, like, if you... Okay. If you are somebody who craves like sweets at the end of the night, you should get this. My kids love this. So that tell you that should tell you like it's very sweet. Like my kids love tea in general. It doesn't matter if it's sweet or not. But this is too sweet for me. So I I can't I can't do it, sis. I tried it like you told me to, but it's just too sweet for me. It's too sweet. Anyways, let's go see the road. Okay, so I showed y'all the Oh Hello mats in last week's video. I think I forgot to link it. So I'll link it under this video. Oh, dude, folks can't see me through my door. Anyways, um, the mat, the rug, whatever it is up under it is what I bought to layer it with. It's a little bit bigger than what I thought it was going to be, but I still like it. Um, it's like cream, tan, gray. Um, and 
I feel like this color combination is perfect for the outside because it matches the inside of my home to an extent. So I am going to switch this out and remove this because I still, this gives me fall vibes, obviously co come in and cozy up. So I'm gonna put this down in the basement and then we'll move this out there to prepare for springtime. No, it's not bright and pink and yellow and spring colors, but not, neither is my house. So this is gonna be perfect. Oh gosh, let me move, this folks coming by. Child, these men passing by looking at me and my dog and what's mine. Oh, but um, the face is moisturized. Um, let's talk about my moisturizer really quick. So y'all know I use the ultras the kills that is super drying which will be perfect for the summertime like when your face gets oily but i'm finding that it's making my face super dry right now so it's not good for like cooler weather so comment down below and let me know what cleanser y'all use i used to use neutrogena cleanser but um and that one is super hydrating but i don't feel like my skin agreed with it anyways um comment down below and let me know what facial cleanser y'all use because i'm trying to find a different cleanser outside of Neutrogena. So just let me know. But anyways, um, I need to go get ready. I keep rambling. But I appreciate y'all for watching today's video. I honestly don't know what the heck we, I need to cut, stop cussing. Cause you know, when you go through and you click the little rating thing, you're like, is it profanity? And they're gonna say a few choice words. Oh God. <laughs> But anyways, let me get serious. Um, yeah, I don't really remember what this vlog is about. But I will tell y'all that next week's vlog, hopefully I have it edited and uploaded by today so that I can chill. But next Wednesday's video is like a clean with me. It's vlog style. So you already know how that is. Just cleaning the bathrooms and, you know, getting everything together and organized. It's slick like spring cleaning, except I don't like to clean like that anymore. So... It's, you know, do watch the video. It'll be up on Wednesday. And then next Sunday, I'm hoping to have the bake with me up. I don't know, y'all. I just had been in the mood. Um, and then I do want to film our, um, that video is supposed to go up this Sunday. It's called Deck Array with me, you know, like the deck. So we're gonna be um, styling our deck in preparation for the springtime. Um, so hopefully I want that to go up before April so that, you know, anybody who is looking for like a little deck refresh outside. And then I also want to do, y'all know, hold on. So apparently I wasn't ready to close out the vlog. So y'all know this time last year I was pregnant. So I wasn't able to really get out and do our yard like I wanted to. There's a vlog that went up, um, last year, like around springtime where we were, we had just, excuse me, moving to the house, so um, me and the kids and my husband were outside like planting flowers and stuff like that. I wanna do that again this year, except I'm not pregnant, so I'll actually be able to be more involved. So that's why I'm really excited about the springtime because last year I can do sh crap. I can do anything. I was, you know, crippled. But, um, not crippled, pregnant, y'all. I don't wanna offend anybody. But yeah, so in that video, I want to plant flowers, I want to get our deck and everything together. Just basically prepare for springtime. So anyways, hubby, he's been downstairs um, exercising on his, I heard you down there getting to it. You want to be on camera? Yeah, there's some more spot. Oh. All right, I'm going to show y'all what the, uh, what's going to look like. Look at him. Glowing. <laughs> Got my shoes on. I'll be glad when we get this basement done. I know I showed y'all our little basement plan video, but the people who were supposed to do our basement, we fired them because they did a terrible job on our what's the name. All right, so look, y'all. This is, we got little Maddie's gymnastic bar over there that she don't use. I think she used that twice. But this is the treadmill that he ended up going with. It's, what is it called? Nordic track. Oh, he even got a mat for it. That's funny. His little workout what's the name. I'm going to be sick with no shoes on. This is the treadmill. Um... That's what it looks like. Oh, it's not showing anything, right? Like personal? Okay. And then over here, that's all of our Christmas decorations. Clearly, I have an issue. I need to get rid of some of this stuff. And then this is the refrigerator that used to be in Bean's closet. Is it stuff in here? Yeah. I ain't studying this, honey. He got water. <laughs> and then he has that little shelf thing over there. 
This is my little bouncing ball thing. You got you a little gem down here, don't you? Yeah, Yo, that's our chase. And then over there is like all of our overflow home decor stuff. Like stuff that I um, <laughs> am not using, but I don't want to like, get rid of it. Oh yeah, that's a big mirror that's wrapped up that goes to a dresser. And then that bed, girl. Trash cans. What is that? Oh, those are your mats. My feet are so cold. And then mattresses, y'all. Yeah, I don't know what I was saying, but I'm closing out the vlog like I was supposed to do a long time ago. But thank y'all so much for y'all's support. And I will see y'all on Wednesday.